Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day so far in the Lord and looking forward to a, a great day and worshiping Him and serving Him and doing that that He has called us to do. I want to look at a verse today in Philippians chapter 4. It's verse 19. It's near the end of the, uh, the book of Philippians. And what a great verse it is that we can, we should memorize and keep it in our hearts and our spirits to remind ourselves of what our God has promised to do. Listen what it says in verse 19. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. What a promise from God. No matter what our needs are, no matter what we stand in need of today, our God is more than able to meet those needs. And if you break this verse down, he says it's personal, my God. And you can stand there today or when you bow down and say, my God has promised me this. It's plentiful. Supply all your needs, just not one need or this little need. If it ain't too big, he said, all your needs. Then you look at what he said, it's plentiful. He's got more than enough because it says according to his riches and glory. We know today God owns it all. He owns all the gold that's in the earth. He owns all the cattle they say on the hillside. There's nothing that my God can't do because he owns it all. And it is powerful because he says in Christ Jesus. So today we need to understand um, there's going to be days when things don't look as good as they did before. Tomorrow don't look as promising as the last one. And there sometimes can come creep up on us and, and the enemy begins to point out things that maybe aren't going good or don't look good and begins to tell us that if God loved you, God don't love you and, and all kind of things. But we must learn that what God said is true in his word. And in this one little verse in all the Bible, it's a promise that we can count on. It's a promise that we can depend on and look forward to. He said, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. What a powerful verse. Because I like what it says, my God. He knows me by name. He knows you by name today. Uh, I've often wondered, thought about that. The people, the, some of the richest, most powerful people in the world have no idea who I am. But the God who created the world that they're in knows me by name. What a powerful thought that is today. He knows you by name if you're his child today and he loves you today and he serves, he, he, he waits to give to you. He waits to help you. He waits to lead and guide you if only we will ask and, and come to him with our needs as he's asked us to. But just remember this verse, Philippians 4, chapter 19, uh, chap, verse 19, chapter 4, verse 19, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I heard a preacher say one time, God can't bankrupt heaven because he's got more than enough for every child of God that is upon the face of this earth right at this moment. My God, I thank you today for being just that. My God, our God, those who love you today, those who have acknowledged who you are, those who have asked you into their life and forgiveness of sin. Today, God, they stand in need. You're more than able and ready to meet those needs today according to the riches that you have in glory. What an awesome God you are to let this promise be spoken to us by you in your word that we can be rest assured that you will take care of us. You will meet the needs. You will supply what we have need of today if we will only ask and we pray. You stand more than willing. You stand more than ready. And you stand more than able to meet our need today if we will just come to you and submit to you and ask for your help. God, you said you would do it. And Lord, we can take that to the bank. It's the, by faith we believe that today. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you, Lord, for, for being the God that you are. In your Son's name, Jesus Christ, amen. May God richly bless you today.